start. What it's right there. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ryan Nickel coming at you with Randy Just. And what are we doing here again, Ryan? We are doing a walkthrough Wednesday. Okay. Well, part of our walkthrough Wednesday, we've had a whole series of walkthrough Wednesdays with rain and then rain. And then rain, and I think the last one we had sunshine, and we're kind of like in between sunshine and rain right now. A little cloudy here, yes. but um, anyway, uh, we're gonna go. Yeah, there you go. Show what's looking like. Anyway, we're gonna take a look at this house. There's some uh, things on here I'd like to show you guys. It's actually a cinder block house. Uh, we'll talk about that a bit. Uh, probably the one thing I really want to show you. They've got the lawn looks beautiful. There's beautiful landscape. This is a really, house. really cute house. Yeah, really, really cute. Great curb appeal. Uh, this, we got a white fence here. You guys are going to see that in a little bit. Uh, a little gate, and it just has a, a cool look to it. Nice little walkway here. You're going to see the crushed gravel there, and it's cool. So we're anxious to see what it looks like inside. All right, so. let's do that. All right. So we will follow you, Randy, all in through this gate here. It's real homey. Like, you feel it's like, I feel like I'm at I home. I know. It's got like this little, it's, it's really kind of cool. It's like a little, uh, yeah. little uh, uh, slope here. Um, and uh, first thing is, you know, we got kind of this gray blue white paint scheme going on. it actually looks pretty attractive it really does i know i like the front door the way it's laid out let's look at the cinder block here a little bit let's spend a couple minutes with this um you know cinder block houses are they're not extremely popular in california you know but at the same time you do see them you know well, fairly often here's one right here yeah and so it's cool um it's so one thing I have personally have not done this. Well, this is kind of oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, I just I moved that a little see, can bit. Can you guys see that? So look, when they painted yeah, this, they, yeah, they painted it. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, let's. <laughs> let, I, I wasn't even going to touch it, but one of the things I do when I do my flip pumps, I actually remove all my low voltage wiring. I strip the house clean, get rid of all the dish networks and the, the, the I don't know, was it Direct TV and everything, all the yeah. phone, all that stuff because I like starting from scratch. It looks like these folks when they had it painted, they just kind of like. Hey, let's just leave the wire there. And that's what happened there. Yeah, so, so all right. Yeah, well, that's kind of interesting. Place it back in there. But, yeah. No. Anyway, one thing Good here, tip, though. Good tip. I, I have not personally done a cinder block home, but um, one of the things if I do a cinder block home, I'm probably going to stucco over over the top of it. Interesting. Because cinder block homes are kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't call them, they're not really eyesores per se, but they look kind of, they're, they're, they're they don't, I don't think they look as beautiful as they can look. Well, so. let, me, let me go ahead and. And, and talk a little bit about that. So, um, having been in, well, hey, how about I just cover the screen there? So, having been in the South, um, you know, I, we did a lot of properties down yeah. there in the South. And what happens in the South is you have uh, a lot of hurricanes, a lot, right, of, a lot of storms right. like that. And so, there are a lot of cinder, cinder block house. However, this is the big however. If you were poor, you had a cinder block house. Ah. If you were wealthy, you had a brick house, maybe brick house, a frame house, something oh, that was a little bit okay. more aesthetically pleasing. So for me, again, this is just me coming from the south, looking at, at the house. When I see center block, I think of poor. Well, because it was economical. Me come living in California, do you know what I think about center block? I think no termites, no pests. There you go. That kind of thing. So well, and that is a problem in the south as well. Termites are yeah, a yeah, and dry big rot problem. and all that other stuff that goes yeah. along with having so, wood. So low maintenance. Yeah, that part's good. So I just, from an aesthetic standpoint, I think if you stuck it over these, it'd give it a nice look. You have the benefits of the center block without the look of the center block. Got it. So, great. Well, let's go ahead and take a, a look through the front door here. Oh, and by the way, why do I have the keys, Ryan? Because Randy is a realtor. I am. Yes, I am. We used to get our, our keys from our lockbox there. I open up my special uh, handy dandy app, and uh, away we go here. So if you so, like this house, Randy's the person to contact. Yeah, absolutely. So here we are. Oh, what a cute home. Nice carpet. Look at that. It smells good too, doesn't it? It does. It has a nice smell. It has like almost like a new home smell. New nice carpet. fireplace. New carpet smell. Looks like they even staged it a little bit. A little, yeah, a little, little, little decor going on here. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, you, you feel very open when you come in here. Is electricity turned off? Uh, I don't know. Okay. That's interesting. All right. We'll find out. So, yeah, that's strange. So. Oh, check this out, Ryan. Let's yeah. go ahead. I don't know if your viewers can see this here. Well, first of all, look at the kind of a cool looking fireplace. Yeah, there. way cool. Yeah, I like that little corner there. And it's open too. Yeah, and uh, for folks that probably might guess around the holidays, they might have their Christmas tree here or something. Great. It looks really cool, the fireplace and so forth. But um, look at this. So, you know, it's an older house here. It looks like. A, um, see that? There's a, it's missing the third prong there. This right. is like so old school grounded. there. So they actually put new outlets in that reflect. As far as the wiring, there's probably in the home, meaning there's no ground. 
So Got it. That's actually a good thing. That's a good thing. So anyway, uh, but this room has a nice feel, very pleasing colors. Um, it, it feels very homey. It feels nice. Yeah. So one thing I may add about this house is actually been on the market for quite a while. So we're kind of kind of like, oh, well, that's strange. This is really cute. Great curb appeal. So why would this home be on the market for a while? Maybe there's something we're not seeing from the curb. And so when we go through this home, I have suspicion we're going to find out what people might have, uh, you know. Treasure hunt. Let's figure it out. Yeah. So so now we're going to come into this room here. We look at the floor. Now, Ryan, when we come in here, oh. do we have any kind of step downs or anything? No, 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 no. It, it's okay. The floor is all completely it's the level. Same, same levels here. Yeah, but However, we, we look up here. we got our ceiling height up here. That's right. Ceiling height here. Yeah, then we come into here and... And it's just a lip. So, yeah, it, you walk in this room and this does feel like... Yeah. I'm feeling a little bit of like height, height sensitivity well, here, I'm height five pressure. Foot seven. Yeah. And if I was six foot, I don't know, I, I might, you know, so maybe the people interested in this house might be people who are maybe, you know, five foot ten and below or something. I don't, I, you know, just kind of a, a thought. And yeah. So... Now I'm five foot seven. I'm standing here, and I think I'm actually taller than the window, or about the same height. Is that sound no, all right? You, you got about an inch, inch a little above me. No, yeah, yeah. You still got a little bit of space there. A little bit of space. Yeah. Anyway, but most people when they look kind of window, they like to have the window actually above their height. So that's just something. I mean, yeah, the it's... house is what it is. So. Okay. Yeah. So okay. yeah. And I don't. I don't think this would be the, the determining factor of why a house is, might be no, sitting a little bit longer. No. And then let's. You know, let's actually we'll go back in this room here too. Let's take a look here. Okay. And it looks like once again, let's look up at the ceiling there. We see the height of the ceiling Huge. there. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. And then we come back down in here, and it looks like uh, oh, ceiling right here. You can see it. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's like this was an addition or something because hmm. we got the cinder block here. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm. Not sure how this uh, house over time. Now, once again, I'm about five foot seven. Now, am I above? Do I stand taller than the window? You're definitely taller than the window there. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so this this window is is, is oddly oddly placed as far well, as the height I, goes. Yeah, it's a little. So th these are some of the reasons that the buyer might be looking at it and go, nah, I don't know. But now, interestingly enough. It looks like this might have an addition because look at the outlets over here. It looks like we got three prong outlets over here now. Well, you know what? I think you're right, Randy, because check it out. We have sheetrock here, three prong outlets. Yeah, that's cinder block, but and this is the cinder block wall here. Cinder block so wall. So this might have been originally an exterior wall. This might have been the, the, where the house ended yeah, originally. Yeah, so they like added little additions yeah. to it and so forth. So And and they might not have been the person, the person selling might not have been the person who did the addition. So. No, that's my guess is but then. Yeah, so now we come walk this room. That should have pretty nice floor down this here. Was, this was an external. Yeah, we see a cinder block wall there again. Yeah, so there's... we got some paneling over here. Oh, interesting, because the ceiling level is still pretty high. Ceiling here, and I can actually but touch the ceiling here. I have a step down, and I have a, a height that is like normal. Yeah, normal height. Normal yeah, height. Roughly about eight foot. That's our normal height. It looks like this is the laundry area here. So yes, definitely. So, which. You know, it's kind of like we flowed from a, I guess that was a living room where the fireplace was. Right. Then we flowed into an area that maybe family room, I guess we would call it. Yeah, they left it yeah, left the hinges there. Um, and then we flowed from the family room into the laundry room. Yeah, laundry room. This is a laundry room, right? Unless I missed it. Yeah, it's stuff. a totally yeah. laundry room. And we got the dryer would fit over there. Yeah. And then we have kind of an old style plug here. So that's where that goes. Um, we have kind of a conduit here because it has a cinder block. I don't know if that light works. I think the power's off. Here. So, um, oh, the power is on. There we go. This works. There we go. So, the so, other lights, interesting, the other light didn't work. Yeah, so they have the washer on this side. And then they've got the dryer on that side. And um, anyway, but I didn't I just. Special mystery box with and stage. Dun dun dun. Yeah, that's in there. So anyway, but it's all cool. Yeah, totally but, cool. Um, I, did you look at this floor here, right? You know, so this is vinyl or what this is? It looks like it is vinyl. It's very soft, like it's spongy, almost like it's okay. vinyl. It might be vinyl there. Yeah, so. it looks nice though. It does. It looks very nice. very pleasing colors in there. Some it looks like they do have a door here. But that that window placement is just because of like I'm holding the camera at my eye level. And so if I were to like stand and look out the window, I couldn't see anything. I'd be looking at a wall. Yeah, it's kind of like a... Unfortunately. Area only. So yeah. now, we're 
going to go to the kitchen here and try to dissect this kitchen here. All right. Is, uh, oh, it looks like they forgot one of those things here too as well. What's that? Oh, the hinges? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know what happened there? Yeah, okay. Oh, another one over here too. Look yeah. at all these hinges here. So I don't know. Anyway, that's just you know minor. minor yeah, I, I, you know, my, my first response here, Ryan, we're in the kitchen. Yeah. And first of all, the colors look very pleasing. I here. think so too. <coughs> now look at the grant. I think grant's actually kind of this gray, very much in theme right now. Uh, I have these white, they look like white cabinets. White cabinets with uh, yeah, a shaker. This one, and this actually is called a shaker style cabinet. Shaker style cabinet. Yeah. We got a brush nickel uh, hardware here, which looks nice. Um, but oh, let's see here. We got our, our backsplash. It looks pretty nice there too. Yeah. Um, let me take a look at this. There's something interesting about this backsplash, guys. Oh, it is grouted. At first, it looked like peel and stick, but it is grouted. There is grout in there. So, <sighs> kitchen has nice uh, one of these, you know, for the, the sink there, and they do have the dishwasher. Uh, most homes uh, that people purchase, they purchase a range, and right now it's devoid of a range. I don't know if the seller was going to negotiate that later or what the strategy was there, but usually when you purchase a home, a range is included. Not the refrigerator, but a range. Yeah, especially with a re like a remodeled house. And this is how yeah, it's it it definitely remodeled. remodeled. So yeah. I'm not sure what's going on there. Maybe they expect to negotiate that. And then what's the other item that pretty common these days people expect in a kitchen a microwave a microwave yeah so i don't know where they're planning it because if they're planning to put the microwave on the counter you know it's kind of uh, tight it's kind of tight it's a small yeah. it's a it's a smallish kitchen without that um but they could add a range you know with the microwave and then the hood attached maybe or yeah maybe. So they actually still have the old uh except they do up there right yeah. yeah and then i don't know what this i think that uh, it's, a, it's a mystery. I was yeah. expecting to turn the fan So, is the fridge going to be right next to the range? Yeah, here? it's like it's so, the yeah. range here and then the fridge next to it. Which, I don't know. And then the other thing, too, here, when you go to the store to buy new cabinets, you got your choices of 30 inch cabinets or 42 inch. A small kitchen like this, there's about 12 inches of space up there that they didn't get the taller cabinets. So, uh, and then you can see on this wall here, this wall here. So this is all your cabinet the, space. The, the, all the cabinet space is this one wall. Except right for down here. Except for down there, which does help. Yeah. It does help. So, um, I did, I so I mean, these, these, these tiny issues could be the reason why this house has been on the market, fell off the market, on the market again, fell off, and then it's currently pending right now, we believe. I believe it is, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of like, oh, this is, I think this is vinyl flooring. It feels like it is. Yeah, so I think they... Uh, nice look to it. Yeah, no, no. I As far as colors go, color selection is home and everything, that looks great. Um, very pleasing to the eye. But then you, you go through, like, peeling layers of the onion back, and, you know, you're like, oh, I don't know. You know, like, on a day-to-day on a -day life living here, things like the kitchen might be a concern for some folks. I think so too and if I'm going to ask if I'm going to give you full asking price and there's not going to be a, I'm going to go spend another thousand dollars on a range that might be an issue yeah and then the other thing is I myself when I design my flips I like to have a little counter space on each side of the range so uh -huh. you have the casserole dish or here's your meat and your dish it's like you put it into the pan and you're done you like to have another dish to put your food back in yep. and so what's going to happen is you're going to have your range here and you're like where do I need to put my stuff? And you're gonna, you know, have to walk it over here. You get some thumbs up on that there. one. Some of our like, some of the people watching are like, that's exactly right about all that. Yeah. yeah. So it's a, uh, you know, and then the refrigerator here, and most people, I don't know about having a range. Well, like, when you open fresh. the fridge as well, unless it's one of those drop, you know, right, you know, open up. But if you're opening up the fridge, you're gonna be like right into this to your. Yeah, and they could have put some cabinets across the top just for you flipper. There's a few ways of handling. You can put some furring strips on top of the cinder block. Once you put the furring strip in, and then you actually screw your cabinets to the furring strips. So they could have put some cabinets across there if they wanted to. I don't know where we sit major. Well, they definitely have the vertical height. Yeah, they have the vertical height to do that. But, you know, it takes a little work to, to you know, screw in the cinder block yeah. and, and do that. The other thing, too, is I don't know if there's been enough space to put a, a little cabinet or some something here in between. Um, I really don't think so. It's gonna be yeah, it looks tight. like it's pretty tight. Let's <clears> talk about that a bit, folks. Just kind of let you know. A standard size refrigerator width is typically 36 inches, okay? That's your standard size refrigerator. Let's talk about the refrigerator too. Here's another interesting point I just picked up on. Just eyeballing this, Ryan, this looks like this is just probably just about 24 inches here. Does that look about 24 inches there? 
Yeah, did you see that each one of these uh, these blocks are about a foot? So you have got two blocks. Yeah, yeah. Well, two blocks, so not quite a 20, well, maybe we add this little bit here, we'll come out to 24 inches here. So very interesting point here, folks. Standard size refrigerator, 36 inches. Then we go from front to back, and there's a couple different sizes on the standard size width refrigerator. We have what's called a counter depth or a cabinet depth refrigerator, and then we have a standard depth refrigerator. Well, a counter depth refrigerator typically is going to come out about 26 inches. Mm. Okay, so they're just a couple inches past the cabinet front. Then a standard depth refrigerator, and I want this. I have a suspicion the standard depth refrigerator actually is going to come out past this wall here and stick out here, and maybe that's the reason they put. You know, some kind of appliances here because it would make this thing feel very, very yeah, small. It's, it's gonna kind of like, well, it's a little awkward to, to walk so in. We, we don't know. These are things that the you know, buyers well, you know what? Now that you said that, so I walk into the so I'm, I'm already gonna hit right here because I have a range, a, a range. So this kitchen really just came up to about right here, and all I have is this little yeah, alleyway right, right, right. and a little yeah. alleyway here, and, yeah, and that's we'll my kitchen. You know, so that's just something. So you could put a smaller refrigerator in there, like an apartment size refrigerator, and that may work. That'll kind of clear that area up there. But just you know, once again, everything's cute. It just depends on the buyer what they're looking for. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's great observations, Randy. This is really helpful for a lot of people that are watching and and wondering. Yeah, Especially if they're if they're looking to buy themselves, these are Thanks things that they're not going to see or or, or notice. Right. Or if they're out there flipping, that they need to know if they want to be able to get their their house sold and get it for top dollar. Yeah. Now this is also interesting. I see a two prong outlet here, but then we do have a three prong GSI. We got a three one right here. here. Yeah. Yeah. And we have the, the mystery switch, which we don't know what that's about. And then of course the three. And here. then we have the GFCI over here. So I'm not sure how they're tied together. I think yeah. You know, yeah, we got the garbage disposal there, and it yeah. looks like we have a little light to shine up over there. So. Anyway, I, I wonder where they get this granite. Actually, I like the granite. Look at these two pieces here. What? Yeah. Oh, they split it in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little unusual. Interesting. Yeah, they went all the way across. Well, I, I know what they did here. Well, no. Is there a seam? I'm going to put my glasses yeah, on. Yeah, I can inspect. It feels like there's a seam right there. On both sides. Just, yeah, which yeah. is a little... <coughs> hmm. Very interesting. They... I don't know if you could, I'm uh, just kind of a heads up guys, uh, it, I don't believe this counter is 10 feet across. Does this look like it's 10 foot? Uh, maybe not, maybe shy. Maybe shy. The reason I mention yeah. this is typically your granite pieces that you get are about 10, 10 plus feet. So I don't know why they wouldn't put a seam in here, because you wouldn't put a full piece of granite on a full slab. Feet, a full slab. Yeah. And there wouldn't have been a need for a seam. Unless they did remnant pieces? I don't know. Now this is a full piece here. This is what we call a peninsula piece. So they would have taken a peninsula piece here and put that in there and got to cut the side. So I don't know um, why... It, I can only speculate. Yeah. Why, why it's that way. So. It doesn't, doesn't take away from... From the feature of the house, I mean, it, the yeah, sink works just, just fine. But as from a from a contracting standpoint, you, you'd want to have a nice seamless. Yeah, we typically thing. and don't like to do that. Um, yeah, it's just a, a little, little, little interesting. So that's about that's all I'll say about that. Yeah. So anyway, but uh, let's go around here real fast, Ryan. And so we have we talked about the the hinges that it seems like doorway after doorway they left the hinge. Matter of fact, they left the pin here too. They just it in there. right over it. But yeah. then again, they filled the blanket down on that one. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they. I so I don't know why they take the hinge at one place and hmm. somewhere else. Um, just well, they they filled in right here as well. Oh, where the where the, the door, door was. Yeah, yeah. So it's just. I don't know. I like to replace all my door casings if they're kind of jacked up that way. I do like to take them to the hinges and just give it a nice clean look. Yeah, it takes some additional work to do that, but I don't know. That's just me. You know, different people do different things. But, you know, once again, I come back to it, it actually has a pleasing feel to it for the house. It's it really just, does. Just like little nits. Let's go down the hallway and check out the, check out the bathrooms and the, yeah. uh, the bedroom. Now, this looks like this is. Is that a wallpaper that's on there? Um, it's like cardboard. Yeah, I don't know. It's where it's a county board almost. Yeah, and then we see our hinge here too. Oh, so. uh, you're right. Yeah, looks like there. And then I don't know, what do we have hiding in here? Oh, it's like a pantry. Oh, okay. Well, Just kind of that's a plus. Extra nice storage there. Well, yeah. that kind of offsets some of the cat. It does. Maybe it's like space. linen and food. Maybe. Yeah, exactly. So I probably it probably uses the pantry. Okay. And then we come to something here. This is actually the furnace. And this. Wow. You know this one. This might here be. Uh, 
If I had to guess why people didn't jump on this house right away, this may be one of the one of the things here. It's just it, it's it, a little odd. It's an eyesore. Yeah. You, mean, and, you don't expect to see the mechanicals of a house in glaring open like yeah, this. Yeah, and I. So this I, is their actual heater, guys. I mean, danger, peligro, carbon monoxide poisoning hazard. So, <laughs> like, it's right there. Yeah, and it's what's down below there, right? You know, it's, it looks like oh, it's a the gas vent. Yeah, no, so, um, yeah, this is like the heater in the hallway. So this, you're right, this would probably be a deterrent for somebody. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You could dress it up. I mean, you could, I, I don't know, maybe well, not. I don't think you cover it up because you need the ventilation. Yeah, there. that's right. Oh. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I, for me personally, but. Well, you moment, know what? I would have ditched the pantry and moved it over. Yeah, but, but then the, the, the depth. The ducting. Well, I think it would have been okay. You, you probably so? could have moved it in there. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think that would have worked. Yeah, I think that's how I would have handled that. Mm. So, yeah. Well, here's... Well, that's by the hot water heater there. Sure enough, yeah. it's hot water heater. Brandon, you hit it. Oh, there's no pan. Yeah. So, and I don't want this. I was just going to ask you, what's that switch for? I don't know. I hear nothing coming on. I hear nothing turning off. Oh, okay. So, well, that's... Well, it is what it is. And this is yeah. more of that little, like... Board. Yeah, I don't know. It looks attractive, actually. I think it looks attractive. Like the, has like the little, like, you know, cool filter. Yeah, so, anyway. Let's go take a look at the bathroom here. Why don't you give a good look in there? Nice bathroom here. Yeah, yeah what's really nice? Newer vanity. Got some cool lights. Huge shower head. Yeah, definitely. You got some matching, uh, almost the same kind of yeah, decorative kind of, piece. Yeah, it matches the kitchen. Yeah, that, that actually looks nice. I think of all the rooms. That uh, I think probably look look the best is probably this one here. I think so too. Yeah. One thing I like to do, I'll point this out. We can take a look. I hope the viewers can see this. I like to put some clear light bulbs in there, mm. as opposed to the you know the the six in a pack for, for right. eight bucks or whatever. So you like the decorative ones with the filament in it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes it look a little better. It's just something that kind of spruce it up a little bit. But. Uh, this room looks pretty good, actually. It looks like I use some 12-inch tile. I'm, I'm using bigger format tiles. You can see this like by 12 by 12 down there. Yeah, it looks like they did put a new toilet in here. And I think so far of all the rooms we've looked at, this is probably the most put-together room. This so. is a very good room. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's not a huge bathroom. No, but it does a job. One thing here, I don't know. I, I, I think for residential plumbing code, their toilets are supposed to be 15 inches on center. I don't know if... Anyway, you guys kind of figure that out there. Mm. Be, uh, do you think that's more than more no. than twelve inches? No. Looks like it's about maybe twelve inches. You have to measure that out. Just something to keep in mind, guys. Which so what would happen is to get the fifteen inch. In other words, thirty inches. Toilet goes fifteen inches on center. Hmm. I think I believe that's the current plumbing code. Well, so. you know, this could, it might it might be it might be tight. Close. Yeah. yeah. So how you resolve that? You use like a pedestal sink. Mm. And so that would have had the clearance there. Or you just use a smaller vanity. Got it. So there's just, you know. You know, one thing I did notice, Randy, um, and this just comes, comes from having a lot of kids, is the only storage that I have is under the sink here. I don't have any kind of like linen closet or anything. For, well, we have that one closet is either a pantry or a, That's down the hall, though. Yeah, so it's... Well, people can buy cabinets and put them in yeah, and they build can. them in. Some and I've seen those, like, they build in, like, on the right. back of the toilet here. They just right. put it right here and you put, like, your towels and stuff like right. that. I mean, they have so, towel rack. It's not like that's an issue, but, yeah, so, but for guests and stuff. Yeah, we have a little medicine cabinet here, which is nice, too. So. Oh, you know what? There you go. Yeah, that helps a little bit there. It sure does, yeah. Yeah, for the toothbrushes and so forth. So, but... Anyway, overall, so far, all the rooms I like that good. So it looks like this is a three-bedroom, oh. one-bath home. It is a three-bedroom. Yeah. Um, the artwork is not for sale. There you go. Part of the staging. <laughs> it looks like they do have some nice, uh, they actually put, I believe, what's called retrofit windows here. You know what, Randy? Oh, these are retrofit? Oh, it's because of the spacing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what, Randy? Let's, let's talk about something um, about that window and the height off the ground. Yes. Um... Well, we'll go back over there. Let's yeah. look at the bedrooms, and we'll talk about that for a moment. So stay um, tuned. This is an important, valuable piece. There you go. Uh, the uh, We'll see the cinder block walls here. Yep. Uh, just, folks, if you actually have a cinder block home, you want to have more of a drywall look to it, what you can do is put furring strips, and over the top of the furring strips, you put your drywall. The drywall will get attached to the furring strips. You know, I have a, um, I have a Craftsman bungalow that has a basement. Uh huh. In Idaho, 
Okay. I don't have it anymore. It's, it's uh, no longer in my portfolio of properties. But one thing I can tell you about this cinder block here is that in the wintertime, that this keeps the house nice and warm. Right. And in the summertime, it keeps the house nice and cool. Yes, that's the a Cinder plus. block is it's really good to adapt to the weather outside and yes. inside. Yeah, what well, is strong material, durable. I, right now I can say which is the So we have some, some height issues as well on this particular. It looks like apartment. it does drop down here. Because when you go into the bath the bedrooms it, it pops back up and you can see there's Well you know why they did this. The well, I'll come over here. Oh okay, let's hear this. Okay. This actually this whole section here is what we call the chase. The chase. Yeah, the chase is connected to the furnace and so forth. Just cut to the so, chase. Yeah, cut to the chase. Anyway, the ceiling is lower because that's the chase. And how we know this is the chase, let's because go Because right here. here, right? Oh, we see a van up there. Yep. Let's go around and look at this bedroom here. Oh, suspicious. We're part of seeing another van. What do we see up here? Bingo. Yeah, another van. Let's come over here and look over here. What do we see up there? Another van. Yeah, so that's the chase. Everything is running through that. Uh, let's see. There we go. What do we see? Another vent there. Another vent there, right? Yeah. Oh, interesting. So this is called the chase. So then what goes down the stairs is called the chase. All oh, right. Okay, or the duct work. Yeah, so. Interesting. So every room that I've been in has different, like. Yeah, let me, I, I, I'm going to correct that a little bit. I'm calling the chase right now. It's actually the duct work. Chase, a chase is usually we're running wiring and stuff too. Okay. But keep in mind, we actually are still running some wiring right here. You see a light like there. So yeah. there's some, some other mechanical stuff that's probably being run besides that duct work. Got it. So the duct work is there, there, there. And let's look in the kitchen to see is there, is there a duct sticking? Event there, so it's just for the three bedrooms. Got it. And the bathroom is where all that duck, you know, as far as what's going on there. So this, I think, is going to be the biggest deterrent. Yeah, I think people are like um, it's everything else. I think you can live with the high, the lower ceilings yeah, and stuff like that. So let's, let's talk about this window. Over yeah, here. this window here, guys. This is about this is a, a super important piece. Yeah, and I think we covered it one of these other other uh, I think, through Wednesdays. But I let's, think we let's well. mention it again. Yeah. So this. So when you have children and so forth, okay, uh, I believe the current code right now, if the window, just to visualize the 18 inches, which is probably about right here. What do you think, Ryan? I think that's about 18 inches yeah, or so? Uh, give or take. Okay. So 18 inches off the floor, if a window falls below 18 inches, it's supposed to be tempered glass. And the reason for that is because, Brian, you have a lot of kids. You I know? do, yeah. Yeah. And so if the kids fall through the window and the glass breaks, there's a possibility that the glass could cut their neck or, or you know, some part of their body. We wouldn't want children to get cut. So they actually put tempered glass in there, which shatters as opposed to... Yeah, so if your car, I mean, uh, like if you look on the, on, the, on, the, on the corner of your car, it says tempered. See, right here, it doesn't say tempered. Yeah, so my guess is it is a tempered glass. Well, no, because this window is typically supposed to be higher, as we've already talked about. Well, it about. should be above 18 it's, inches. Well, not only, yeah, it should be 18 inches, but this standard size window is going to be a lot higher than where it's at. Yeah. This is this is eye level for us. Yeah, they could have done some other things with this, but they could you know have. how or why or what the history yeah. is behind this, I really can't tell you. I yeah, it, it might have already been here prior to the owner. Yeah, I, mean, that's put I don't on know, the it's hard to say. So. But that is something that you do need to know if you are putting some new windows in to make sure that they are tempered. So, Brian. Yes. Which just, you know, when, what's your overall, overall feeling? You know, is this a winner, a loser, uh, concerns, you know? You know, uh, I don't want to be too judgmental because it's very easy to pick apart someone else's work. It, it, it really is. It's easy to tear down and not to build up. But to be fair for this property, um, it, has a, it has a nice, you know, pluses. It has a nice, nice of feel. Very yes, nice, it very it nice feel. Like. Great, uh, you know, decor and, and the staging, but overall, I'm gonna have to put thumbs down on this one. Are you really, Ryan? Thumbs down. And okay. the reason, my reasoning for this is one, the kitchen's too small. Not because I come from a large family, but it's claustrophobic when you finally put those uh, appliances, those two appliances, those two in, appliances there. in there. Yeah. And I think that they knew that, and that's why they left it out. But the real, the real kicker for me is actually going to be that furnace. Having that furnace exposed in the that's hallway. Solid. It just it, it probably held it back. It doesn't it feel safe to me. Like it, it, I'm sure it probably is, but it doesn't feel like you know I, I'm gonna get like maybe I'm, I'm I'm gonna walk by it and brush it and like burn my elbow or something. That's I, that's a concern that I have. That, and that's probably held it back from selling immediately. Yeah. How about so, you, Randy? You know, um, it's a tough call. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough call, and and I think it's a tough call for others just because the length of time is on the market. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so our I think our 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 opinion mirrors what the public opinion is. So you know anyway. But uh, I don't know. I think this concludes our watch. Or what do you I think? think it was, was? Yeah, I think I think you know. Stay tuned, guys. We're gonna have a lot more of these. And if they want to get a hold of you, Randy, how to get a hold of you? Hey, you know, just give me a phone call. I'll give you my numbers here: five three zero eight one two five one four three. That's five three zero eight one two five one four three. You know, I can do uh, uh, how say consulting work as far as you have a flip. You maybe need some direction. I can do that. Uh, I do have some homes in inventory too or work on it. If you're a buyer, you're looking for a great house that's been rehabbed. And, uh, you know, I do this for a living, full time realtor. I can sell you other houses too. And I'm actually, I'm going to take this phone here from Ryan because Ryan always has a very important message to you. And I always like this thing that he says. So, Ryan, whoops, I, there we go. That's a good, you know, there you go. I thought I was putting my makeup on. Yeah, there we there go. There we go, Ryan. So, what, tell, us, tell us about the, the, the one deal thing. I always love you saying that. Oh, sure so, is. what's the deal? Let's hear about Guys, it. Guys, you're just one deal away from changing your entire financial future. It, all it takes is that one deal. And once you get it, you get this taste that you just want to keep on doing this more and more and more. But it's that one deal that pushes you over the edge. And so, as we're going through these houses, we're, we're, we're showing you what can be done, what can't be done. Also, keep in mind if you're out there looking to wholesale a deal, that this is like, you can go through and you can go, you know what, I saw this on a walkthrough Wednesday. This is something that I can, I can pick up on, that I can go ahead and I can use in my marketplace to be able to get a little bit more money for my property that I'm looking to wholesale out and you can make some good money for your family. So that's what that's all about. So Ryan, how do they get a hold of you? Just go ahead and click on the link, guys. Just, you know, I'm right there. You can click on you know, my name and do I send a direct message or just reach out to me on my cell, 530-755-7552. Well, why don't you say it one more time? All Come right. on, Ryan. All right, 755-7552. There you go. 530. And you do answer your phone, right? Uh, occasionally. Occasionally? Oh, come on, you answer more often than yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, so. I do answer quite regularly. Uh, if, you don't, if I don't pick up, it's because I'm doing a walkthrough uh, Wednesday with uh, Randy, so you just send me a text message and I'll get back to you guys. There you go. Well, here. Let's turn our phone around here. And so I guess at that, at that point, I'll just take it like this and it will say, say, we'll see you, all right, next, guys, week. See you next time. Take care.